Hey y'all, it's your girl Chef Joy, and let's get into this other food review. Y'all love the Eat Meaty review on the vegan steak, and y'all said, Chef, have you tried the chicken? Have you tried the carne asada? I got both of them. I got both of them. They've been in the refrigerator. I'm gonna thaw them out. And so I'm gonna start with this chicken one because I do a lot of vegan chicken recipes, like using different things, whether it's jackfruit, breadfruit, tofu, satin, um, soy skins, all of that. And you can find all those recipes on my uh, channel, Say What Is Vegan. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, what is you doing? Make sure you X out this video, hit subscribe and come back because you know, you gonna get all this. And I don't want you to forget and miss all the goodness. Okay, I'm going to fry this and then I'm also going to do like a saute recipe so I can give it a fair chance so I can tell you exactly what I think it is texturally. Now one of the things that I did here online is not to marinate this for too long because it could get kind of mushy. Um, like I said, I've never used it. Well, let's see what it looks like. All right, let's see what it looks like thawed out. And again, this is made out of mushroom root. Um, it is gluten free and soy free. All right. And so I have mixed reviews about this. some people say it's giving, giving them salmon. Um, oh, it's pink. It's wide. This look real ball here, y'all. Look. It's kind of scurry. <laughs> so scurry. Oh. It's, it's not pretty. We definitely gonna uh, slice these, thin these out because they look thick. And for those of y'all, and oh, it's actually still kind of smell flavorful. And so for those of y'all too who think you can just take vegan chicken or vegan meat substitutes out of the pack of cooking, no baby. Start seasoning your food just like y'all can't take no chicken out the pack or anything like that. You gotta season this stuff. That's why y'all be liking it. Y'all be thinking just because it's vegan, it's coming prepared. It's not. It's, it's, it's not ready for you, all right? So let me go ahead and get some of my magical seasonings. So what we're, how we're gonna do our chicken, right? Um is we're gonna actually start, I'm gonna slice this a little bit. Now, I did go ahead and ask my Facebook. Um, if you don't follow me on Facebook, I'm on Facebook at chefjoya.com and I already put a question in, a poll of what recipe they wanna see. Now, let me be honest, people always wanna see fried chicken. So I haven't even looked at it, but we'll look and see what the other recipe that they want. Um, but back to this, I just tried to cut this and y'all see what happened, like it fell apart. And I don't know, maybe it's cause it's thawed out or not, but I just tried to cut it cause I was gonna cut it to like little chunks um to make vegan chicken actually oh well it shreds really well y'all let me tell you this so i'm not gonna knock it because it is breaking apart so it shreds really well so it's giving me more like chicken salad vibes stewed chicken oh southern stewed chicken um or like a chicken fillet if you as long as you don't mind it breaking apart but or i could have fried it like pieces like that but we're gonna just you know we're just gonna use it as is so I'm gonna add a little bit of my vegan Worcestershire sauce. Now I also use Dale steak seasoning. So when y'all see me say vegan Worcestershire sauce, Dale steak seasoning sometimes, okay? Or more steak seasoning. You don't have to look for the actual vegan Worcestershire sauce, even though they make several bottles. Um, if you're at a grocery store, you can always use that as well. Then we're gonna use my golden chick seasoning. And you can get that at chefjoyousness.com. And I'm just gonna let y'all know right now, um, it will be out of stock for a while. I know, I know. Um, so get it while you can, because it will be gone soon. All right, but it'll be back though. It'll be back and it's gonna be better than ever. All right, so I'm seasoning with my golden chicken. What I love about my golden chicken seasoning, when I created the seasoning, I wanted to make sure it was like an all-purpose seasoning for anything that's poultry-like. So whether it's turkey chicken, anything that gravies, you can use that one bottle and that'll be all the seasoning that you need, okay? If you want a little bit of color, you can add paprika. But y'all see how I'm doing this, right? This is really, you know, tearing apart. And it's now it's making me wish I would have did a double batter, but I didn't want to do a double batter because I didn't want to lose um, the texture of this chicken. So I end the oil on 375 and it, I'm gonna let this fry for about two minutes because it seems pretty soft already. And then what I went ahead and did is I added some of my vegan Worcestershire sauce, my Armadale steak seasoning, whatever way you want to call it. All tastes the same to me. And I rubbed it down because I do want to marinate a little bit because no vegan meat should be eat, eating ball here. You always want to make sure that you season it, okay? And I flipped it, smacked it, and I rubbed it down on the other side as well, too. So this is going to get like a good marinade of about 10 minutes. And we're going to check on my Facebook together. Let's let's see. You know, let me wash my hands first, all right? Let me act like, let me act like I got some home training, okay? So let's see if Facebook is responding. I know y'all like, Chef, we over here participating with you on YouTube. 
Uh, why you ain't give us a chance? Look, Facebook responds faster. So, and YouTube, I like doing my full reviews. So, we got to become a family. So, make sure you support me on all the channels, all right? So, you don't miss out. Tell them to choose between a honey garlic chicken, southern stew chicken, or chicken over a rice halal car style. Um, so, someone said, let's do chicken over rice, halal car. Wait, and say, let's do the honey garlic chicken. No, no. See, they, they playing too much. Someone said, honey garlic chicken. I, you know what? For some reason, I knew honey garlic chicken. Y'all, we gonna we gonna work on this basicness, okay? I ain't talk, I ain't calling y'all basic, but I'm a, I, we gonna work we gonna work on just the typical, cause there's about thirty five thousand honey garlic chicken recipes out here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it real quick. We can fast forward through it. Y'all can see me make it, but I ain't about to explain y'all. Now I come back and do a full cooking video, but let me know in the comments below. If you want me to do a um, little video, I, I, I just really want, I have so much faith in y'all. Whatever is the quickest, just get out the work. Ciao. Yeah, I know y'all ain't right. All right, guys. So we have our vegan fried chicken pieces done. You know, whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Now it tastes good. I mean, I seasoned it. But it's very soft, um, very, very, very soft. Um, you definitely, it would be all right fried chicken texturally. I wouldn't give it to somebody the first time having vegan chicken. Um, it's really soft. It absorbs the flavors. Um, I don't even really see this like, I'm not gonna pop high. Something with like shredded chicken chopped chicken definitely not like a fried chicken sandwich like it's really good because like i said my flavoring is good my seasoning is good but it's just it's really soft guys it's really 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 soft and um i think i don't know would i buy again yes i guess about like a seven out of ten it's just really soft all right so let's get, I'm kind of nervous. Let's try to some Holly Garlic Chicken. Chicken, what's that chicken? Let me, let me play with this a little bit. I'm gonna think. All right, so I think it was best that I did a voiceover for this part. So I went ahead and put my vegan chicken into the flour mixture I used to fry and I shook it off real nicely. And then I added some vegan butter to the pan and I cooked it for about three minutes. Then you see me adding in some garlic, a little bit of chili paste, and I also add in some apple cider vinegar. Uh, some vegan Worcestershire sauce, or you can use soy sauce and some agave. And I cooked it for about four that. minutes. All right, I'm gonna try one of the bigger pieces so we can get the texture, see what it's doing. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. I seasoned it, so it tastes amazing. Flavor on point. Texture just is really soft. And you know, one of the things too, I did eat another piece of the vegan fried chicken one. And I, when it got cooled down, it's giving me chicken nugget texture. But I don't know, this still would be good, like as a bowl. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is definitely. Oh, Lord. Oh. I definitely would try this as a whole fillet. Oh, I'm going to crap on my lip. Because, um, like I said, it breaks. But I mean, it absorbs the flavors. Like, it's really good. But uh, mm. I mean, the recipe in itself is 10 out of 10. Because, oh my God, Joy, you are amazing. But textually, again, I would give the chicken a seven out of 10. It's the Eat Meaty Classic Cuts. And I know they do have one that's breaded. I don't know if I'm gonna go try it. Y'all try it, y'all let me know what you think, all right? And if you do call that page, let them know Chef Julia sent you, all right? And this post is not sponsored. I am not getting paid for this. I am just creating awareness because I need some more good vegan recipes on this internet because good Lord. Good Lord, I can't do it all by myself. <laughs> all right, make sure you subscribe to my channel, say what is vegan, and let me know the next product that you would like for me to review in the comments below. I'm Chef Joya, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.